right, this is the finished results of my cherry bombs. Yes, indeed. They are beautiful. Fabulous and beautiful, y'all. I just want y'all to know this was wonderful to do. I want to do something different from y'all. And I did this. And I think it's terrific. It's terrific. I like that thick icing on there like that. Ooh, you can't eat this every day or every week or every month. And ever since we should eat one of these. I'm going to take one out and let you see what it looks like. Because it's still warm. Take one out and let us see what it looks like. They are fabulous, y'all. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Hi, this is Sandra. I'm here again with another recipe. And this recipe is what I call my cherry filled buns. Yes, indeed. I'm going to make those because they are delicious. Sometimes you see them in the store and they're not as quite good when you see them in the store. And they're not really the original taste. So what I'm going to do is show you how to make them. I'm going to do two kinds of... Uh, I might. I'm going to see what I can do. I'm going to scratch this dough because this dough is a whole lot of dough. So what I got in here is six cups of flour. Okay, and I'm going to add... And this, I'm going to add the six cups of flour. I got a cup of sugar. And I got three teaspoons of salt. Put that in there like that. And then right here I have uh, a cup of milk. And a half a cup of water. And I got three of these right here. These yeasts. Three of those. I got three of those. I got this at Walmart. And I think they call it Red Star. You can get them anywhere. And I got the yeast to put in here. And I got... Um, two teaspoons of sugar so what I'm gonna do is pour this in because it's ready you see how foam it is that means it is ready it's ready to rock and roll and make sure you make sure that it's warm like you're getting a baby a bottle when you stick your little finger in there and see the baby bottle is correctly the temperature is correct that's what you do with this Okay, we're going to turn this on and we'll be right back. All right, we're going to turn it on and let it do its little business. And we're going to add one egg. We're going to add about three tablespoons of butter. Put it in like that. And we're going to add sour cream. Yes, indeed, we're going to add sour cream to this. We're going to put about maybe... I have a cup of sour cream. I have a cup of sour cream. Okay, just like that. And then we're going to add. All right, we're going to add our vanilla. We're going to add our vanilla. Just like that about two teaspoons of vanilla and we're going to continue on rolling on until it get to the point where it's all blended together i already have my little flour surface right here so you can see what we're going to do this and i have my oven preheated i got it on 350 and i turned it off about 15 minutes ago so therefore the oven will have some heat to help proof the donut i mean help proof the dough Okay, so it's almost there, y'all. Almost there. I'm getting to the point where it's almost there, and we're going to put it on this flower surface, and we're going to be right back, okay? All right, we're going to take the door out, and it's all blended. Now, I can turn this off like that and put it in the flour. Sticky, y'all. Okay. Okay, it's sticky. I'm going to turn this to the side. Oops. And we're going to knead this together like this. Knead it together. 
Who going wanted to rise? Yeah. And then we're going to wrap that and we're going to put it in a bowl. All right, we got it in a grease bowl and we got uh, celery, celery wrap around it. Celery wrap around it. And we're going to put it in the oven and let it kind of proof real quick. And we'll be right back. My hands are messed, but you know, hey, I'm cooking, y'all. All right, as you can see, I don't have double the size I put a little piece of that in there and so what I'm going to do is spread this out and put it on the board now I, you have to make sure that this dough is double because it will not do anything if it's not double okay we got oh that feels so good so that means it's going to be some good rolls y'all some good rolls what I'm going to do is cut this in half I'm not going to use all of this on this one particular recipe. So what I'm going to do is cut this in half. Get this all settled. You know, I used to be afraid to make this, but I'm not afraid anymore. Sometimes you can be afraid of cooking, and you're just going to have to keep doing it, you know, until you get it done. So what I'm going to do is cut this in half. Now on this recipe, we're going to have cherries, cream cheese, and butter. But on this other recipe, I'm going to show you another recipe that I'm going to do. But first, we're going to cut this in half. Let's see, we're going to do this like this. We're going to cut this off. Put this back in the bowl. Cut these edges off. Yeah, put it in the bowl. Cut these edges off like this. Hope y'all can see me in the camera. And we're going to do something with that. Okay, what we're going to do now is make sure this is square. Just like this. It's easy to work with because it's a good, good dough. I right, like this. So that depends on how you Want you want it to be kind of fluffy, or you want to just ride on its own, or whatever. We got the oven back on, so we can hear it proof these up. Okay. Now what we're gonna do here? Let's take this off here. Put in the bowl. I'm going to make something else with that. What we're going to do is add the butter. Add some butter. Smear it all the way around. The butter have to be on these, y'all. They don't have to be, but, you know, they won't be as good if you don't put a butter on. <laughs> now, we don't use any cinnamon or anything like that. Now, you can put cinnamon, whatever you want. With this, you can, but I'm not going to put any uh spices at all no 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 nothing egg none of that no maize no, no nothing just plain butter and then we're going to use some cream cheese put the cream cheese on top of there like that yes indeed cream cheese going to be on there now we have sour cream inside the um uh, dough this cream cheese going to make a plus y'all just like this. It's cream cheese and butter. Now, if you're on a diet, do not eat these. <laughs> eat half. <laughs> Give you a leeway. Eat half. Okay, now we got the cream cheese all smoothed out. I'm going to save that other cream cheese for the icing. So we got this all smoothed out. Let's do a little bit more over here. And I got the country cherries. This what I got. The country cherries pie filling and it's gonna work perfect for these donuts for these little rolls so I'm just gonna put a little like this spread out real good and this is what I like I like these little cherries 
and these little rolls with a little topping on it and the icing. Wow, you can't go wrong with that, y'all. Can't go wrong with it. <laughs> Especially you try to impress someone. I'm trying to impress y'all. How about that? We're going to get these all smoothed out. Just like that. Just one can, I'll do it. Just one can, I'll do it. These cherries are going to be so good. <laughs> In this uh, rose. Easy to do. It's messy, but it's easy to do. Got it like this. Let's see, put some more right over here. Make sure everything have a cherry on it. Look at that. There it is right there. And we're going to roll these. We're going to make sure that the cherries are not too close together. We're going to try to separate them like this. That cream cheese and that butter and the sweetness from the cherries. Oh, my God. Goodness, y'all, you know that's going to be good, don't you? Okay, we got it all out like this. Okay, maybe some on the end here. And then we're going to put this in the, what's it called? And I'm going to wash my hands and we'll be right back, okay? All right, we're back. And what we're going to do is roll from this end. We're going to roll back this end because y'all not in the camera too good. I am so sorry that I'll never be in the camera. Never. I need someone to help me and say, direction, correct, you know, something like that. Okay, we're going to roll these like this all the way back. Can't wait to eat these, y'all. Got a little line like that. And then we're going to cut them and put them in this pan right here. Let's see if that. Be better right there, I guess, y'all. Let's see. Cherries coming out. Cut this end off. And we're going to cut them like this. Place them in there like that. Place them in there like that. Wow, look at that. I put too much in there, y'all. What you think? <laughs> okay, we got them like that. Okay. So some cherries and came out. It's okay. We well, don't worry about. It. They don't have to go in the pot. We're just gonna do <laughs> like this. Wow. We we'll put them back in there. Okay, stick them in there like that. I think I got enough room to put one, two more. One right here. And one right there. Because they're going to rise a little bit more. Okay. Now I got a mess here. We're going to stick them back in there like that. How about that? We're going to put these in the oven again and let them proof. Because I cut the oven back on so that they can uh, proof up again. It's a mess, y'all, but somebody got to do it, so I don't mind doing it. This is what it looks like, and we're going to put it in the oven, let them proof, and we'll be right back, okay? All right. Our cherry rolls have got to a point where we need to put them in the oven now. They have rosen, risen, or whatever. They proofed, and they're ready to put in the oven, and we're going to do that until they get light brown. And we'll be right back, okay? Don't they look beautiful? Oh, they look so beautiful, y'all. I can't wait to put the icing on them and eat them. All right, we're getting ready to do the glaze. Our cinnamon, well, not cinnamon rolls, but our cherry rolls are ready to come out. Cherry buns are ready to come out. So we got about two cups of sugar. We got some butter to go in. We got cream cheese. We got some vanilla to make it taste good. And we got a little salt. A little salt. Some milk. And some evaporated milk. We're gonna stir this up because it's ready to come out and we wanna put them in there when it's hot. We're gonna blend this together, just a small little thing to do to put on top of those things. I make a mess, y'all. But you know what? I heard that a messy cook 
It's a good cook. That's what I heard. Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to get this glaze because they're about ready to come out. And we want them to be hot when they come out. Yes, indeed. So, I'm going to put this on there. I'm making a mess because I'm excited. And we're going to do the donuts. Yep, we're going to do the donuts too. We're going to get all this done today. We put this cream cheese ice on top of the donuts if you want to, y'all. Yeah. Ain't going to hurt none. So, we're going to put a little bit more milk in there. together now this can be just right for the uh, cherry bones this will be just right we're just gonna smear it on top of there like that so we're gonna take them out and then just see what they look like okay all right they are ready and we're just gonna do this glaze just like this we're gonna put it on top just like this Smooth it on. Oh, they smell so delicious, y'all. And I just like my icing to be real thick on mine. It's not too thin. And see what's going to happen. It's going to melt with the heat off of the rolls. Look at that. Oh, you know we should have made these. <laughs> we should have made these, y'all. But that's okay. This is soulfoodqueen.net. And we want to give you some good stuff over here. Oh my goodness, this is just too beautiful, y'all. Look at that. Too beautiful, too beautiful. Look at that. I have to use my finger to get that on there, y'all. Too beautiful. We just made them real thick. Make the icing real thick so it can cover real good. And we're going to make another icing for the donuts. Right now, we're going to use this right here for this right here. My, 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 my. Look at that, y'all. You know we're going to eat one, don't you? <laughs> we're going to wait till they cool off for just a little bit. And we'll let you see what that look like after we get through with that. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. Some good old cooking. Some good cooking. Good cooking going on up in here. Let's put some on the cream cheese ice on the bottom. That's for a special occasion. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna let that sit for a minute. Oh wow, they're beautiful, ain't they beautiful? And we'll be right back and we'll cut them on. Use my finger to get this side up. That side right there. Yeah. Look at that. Ain't they beautiful? All this is by scratch, y'all. Scratch, scratch. There's no professional kitchen in here. It's just a regular kitchen. And we just do regular stuff here so people can learn how to cook. And when you get professional, Invite me to your channel. Invite me to your uh, studio. I said, well, you know what, Sophie Quinn, she helped me through this. And I'm going to invite her over. <laughs> okay. Mm. That's delicious. I'm going to put this aside, and we'll be right back. 